Why did I become involved with AIR? I feel as though there isn't enough awareness about mental health, and not just in terms of people who are depressed or suicidal, but there are so many other illnesses as well, such as, such as schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, all those kinds of things. Even eating disorders stem from mental illness. So I love the fact that AIR not only focuses on one aspect of mental illness, but it includes everybody, and everybody has a voice. I feel like it's very diverse, and that's what I like. Well, from my perspective, I personally can't say that I've had a mental illness, but somebody in my family, my uncle, he's schizophrenic. So I guess from being very little and growing up and watching him deal with the illness, it's really kind of struck a nerve with me. And I feel like as a result of seeing that and then seeing what you do, your mission is to basically spread awareness and have people talk about it. Because a lot of people don't. People, you know, for many years, I feel like, have felt that, oh, well, so-and-so has a mental illness or so-and-so is crazy, whatever, there'd be like a stereotype or a label in a negative way, but it's not negative at all. I feel like people should be able to feel free to voice how they feel because it could save lives. My specific role with AIR, well, being involved with uh, Scott Albom's TV production class is when I first became introduced to AIR and introduced to its sp uh, specific purpose. And I feel like having even made a PSA, though it was for an assignment, like to me it was more than that. It really, really, you know, again with my uncle struck a nerve and I took the assignment very seriously. And just to know that even a video that I made, like if it gets out on social media or whatever, it could make a difference and could really help save someone's life. So that, that's how it means, or that's how much it means to me at least. <laughs> Personally, I'm gaining awareness. I know, I've known of all the different kinds of mental illnesses um, that have been around, like we've said earlier, you know, depression, even anxiety disorders, which honestly is something that I've had too. I know I said I didn't have one earlier, but like anxiety I feel like counts as one because it takes over the entire body. And um, I feel like, if anything, I'm gaining more awareness in specific details, statistics, and just know how many people are involved is amazing. Just seeing the number of people increasing and you guys gaining awareness too throughout social media, with your website, and coming to do these talks at schools. I think it's really important because a lot of people, not just adults or even younger kids, but a lot of college students I feel like get very overwhelmed and a lot of deaths unfortunately occur within the young adult population. So I feel like that's really important to spread the awareness to us especially. I hope to save lives, at least with my PSA, and I hope that um, to see more people getting involved, I really, really loved having you guys come and talk to us, and I think it's great what you guys do in terms of going to different schools, and I just hope that for me, I could gain the satisfaction of knowing that more and more people are gaining awareness, you know, for this organization to be able to voice their opinion. I look forward, honestly, I feel like this has such potential to be more, I guess, more known nationally. I, I hope great things for AIR. I hope that everybody knows about AIR. And I hope that you guys get more exposure in terms of media, not just from schools, but even on national television. Just, I feel like this is such a great organization and it's so unique. I haven't seen anything like this in terms of trying to help people specifically with mental illness. So I feel like this organization has the potential to go so many places and to help so many people in that regard. I'm Sabrina, I'm joining AIR, and I'm starting the conversation.